Hi girls, it's Thursday. Today's awesome because my roommates bought me Tony Hawk 4. Um, we recently converted our dining room area into a Nintendo room, complete with a Nintendo 64, a GameCube, and a semi-functional Super Nintendo. Um, there's also a Game Boy in the room. Uh, but anyway, I bought, I, we went to a secondhand video game store and I bought Tony Hawk Underground for the GameCube, because I used to have Tony Hawk for the Dreamcast, and that's, I thought it was a really cool game. And Tony Hawk Underground really sucks, like, you, like, it's, there's one round where I had to drive a car, and then, like, some rounds you're not on a skateboard. Like, I bought a Tony Hawk game, I want a skateboard, like, I don't want to drive a car. Um, so I was really upset about it, and they found, uh, they found Tony Hawk 4 for me, so that's cool. That's why today's awesome. Today's video comes in four parts. One, Alex. Two, Peter. Three, Amy. And four, Shelby. So, Alex. I think we're at a little bit of a disagreement over what warrants a punishment. See, I was under the impression that breaking a rule was what caused a punishment, uh, not failing a challenge. And, like, no, we've never punished each other before for challenges, and so it kind of caught me off guard. And so, like, just so there's no more, there's, you know, there's no more confusion, I am making a new rule today. And as soon as I upload this video, I'm putting it in our rules list. And the rule is that punishment will be dealt only when someone breaks a rule. So, that's, that's all. So, booyah. And that's the bottom line, because Cold Stone said so. Alex, you asked uh, what was something we wanted to do this summer that we didn't get a chance to do. And really, the only thing I wanted to do this summer that I didn't get a chance to do was I wanted to get together with a bunch of friends and wear mustaches and go swimming. But then last weekend, you fixed all that. Thank you, Alex. Peter, I absolutely loved your video on Monday. Um, it's probably the best thing I've ever watched with subtitles. Uh, like, when you gave your challenge, to me it felt like I was just like on like some sort of secret mission and I was like finally ready to hear it. Like, it was just like, it was epic. And in your video, you mentioned that you were the devil. Um, so I think we need to break up. Okay. No. Why? Uh, cause as it turns out, I'm gay. Oh, I knew it. Thanks for stringing me along. Peter! Sadate. I'm gonna sign your pity on the runny kind. Wada ta. Can't say the name, no, my brother. Amy, that sign is clearly prohibiting fun. Um, and hats. Okay, and then on your on Shelby's video last week, she asked for people to pick a punishment for you, and I think the one that got like the most picks was uh, for you to blend a Chipotle burrito, and you said you didn't have the means to do that, and that's fine, I understand. I sort of wish Sean was around, because I have a feeling we could get him to uh, blend a burrito and drink it, but that's beside the point. Um, I guess I am punishing you, even though I said last week I wasn't, and so, but you get to pick the punishment, go through, and I don't know how many people left comments, but, uh, pick the punishment. And, uh, to anyone watching this, if you want to, like, put a new punishment down, you can write on this video, and Amy, you get to pick any punishment that anyone's left, and just pick a punishment and do it. By the way, Amy, a while ago I proposed an idea, um, in our Facebook thread, and everyone got back to me except for you, so I don't know if you haven't read it. I know you don't go on Facebook as much as everyone else, um, but I know you've been on since I wrote it, so if you could go back and just give me your input on my idea, um, that'd be great. So, Shelby, last week when you took Thursday, you talked about, um, pop. And how dare you sully the name of Thursday by talking about pop? It, it's clearly called soda. Um, and I guess I want to get input from the rest of the Midwesterners on this. Is it pop or is it soda? Uh, it, I think it's soda. And also, I'm curious where the divide is, because, you know, Minnesota is really not that far away uh, from Wisconsin. So where's the divide, I wonder? But I don't know. Uh, and then yesterday you asked what uh, what our philosophy was. And I've actually taken uh, quite a few philosophy classes, uh, so much so that if I can get my philosophy GPA up next semester, I'll be graduating with a philosophy minor. Uh, but I apparently haven't learned anything, because I really, like, when you asked what my philosophy is, I was like, I really don't know anything about philosophy. Uh, but I guess my philosophy on life is to just, 
I don't know if I even... I'm... I don't have a good answer to your question. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's time for the Wheel of Midwesterner. <laughs> Okay, so my challenge for whoever this lands on is to have someone else appear in your video. It could be a friend, a family member, uh, your sock puppet. No, not your sock puppet. It's got to be a person. All right, here we go. Ready? Um, it's right between Peter and Amy. See that? Oh, oh, oh. This is hard to do. Right? Well, it was, it was dead center, so Peter and Amy, you both have to do it, we'll say. Um, yeah, have someone appear in your video. And then my question this week for everybody is, did you see The Dark Knight, and what did you think of it? I personally thought it was amazing. Uh, I thought The Joker was awesome. Uh, all in all, a great movie. But I'll be honest, I thought Batman Begins was better, and I don't understand uh, why this one was so hyped as opposed to when Batman Begins came out, because, like, I don't know. I think they're both really badass movies. But uh, have you guys seen it? What do you think? Alright guys, that's all I got for you this week. Stay hood.